All right, what's going on everybody? This is Tim O'Dell with Odell Complete Concrete. And before we get into part two of the worst client I've ever had, I do just want to say thank you to all the comments and supports in part one. It really did mean a lot to me and my family. Since this is a family business, it does really hurt us when we get jobs like this and customers that just don't want to pay us for whatever reasons they may have. It is a bummer, but all the support you guys show us in the comments and the likes really do help. It does mean a lot to us. So let's just get right into part two. I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, it's about 5.30 in the morning right now. We're here a little early. We gotta do a couple things. We gotta put some dopies on the rebar. Gotta snap some chalk lines. Do gotta rearrange one form. Homeowner requested a Get a little bit more space right here next to the AC unit and way on the concrete. So I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse and get this thing rolling. The reason why I got the job so early, like I was saying, was the homeowner basically texted me or actually called me the night before saying, Hey Tim, I don't like where these forms are, I need these changed before we pour concrete. Even though I already had all, everything set up for the next day, all the finishes lined up, all the pumper, or all the concrete ordered, uh, the pumper, he requested me to basically change the forms last minute. So instead of canceling all of my finishers, the concrete truck, and the concrete pumper, I got there at 5.30 in the morning to adjust all of the forms that needed to be changed. And then he also requested me to change the PSI of the concrete, which is another issue because we were set for 3000 psi and he wanted 4500 psi which increases the price and then also since 4500 psi goes off very quick we would most likely need more help so i had to scramble the night before calling finishers to see if anyone was uh, available to bring an extra couple guys i was gonna be doing this with just me my brother and one other finisher but with 4500 psi i was a little worried to do that with just three guys so i ended up calling one more extra guy not only was i really just worried about the concrete going off but i was worried that if this concrete did not come out exactly how this guy wants this concrete to look and i mean in every perfect possible way this guy would just find more and more reasons to basically stiff me at the end of the shop because instinctively I already felt like this guy was gonna not pay me or not pay me in full for whatever reasons he may have but he was already giving me really bad signs and red flags all over the place because another crazy thing that happened was when he was talking to me on the phone about changing the, the PSI of the concrete, about changing the forms, and also adding dobies underneath the rebar. I was telling him, okay, no problem. We can do all that for you. That's not a big deal. But I need to make you need to make sure that you have all the cars out of your driveway moved. We're going to need the whole front of your driveway access for the concrete truck and the pumper. And he basically told me, yeah, no problem. But when the pumper came and the concrete truck came uh i was knocking on the homeowner's front door it was about 650 at this time because you know the concrete truck's kind of trying to get set up the concrete uh pumper is trying to get set up and his cars are all in the way in the front yard so i'm knocking on the door constantly and then i'm calling him as well and he's got this amazon doorbell ring telling me to basically go away like i'm a solicitor so I just keep knocking finally he shows up at the front door and everyone saw this and everyone out was out in the front all the finishers my employees pumper the concrete truck he comes out screaming at me basic telling me to f off you're waking up my family what is the matter with you and I couldn't believe this at first so I take a, like a deep breath step back and ask him hey is everything okay did something happen over the weekend? Did something tragic happen in your family? 
and he's and then I think this is when he noticed everyone behind me and he starts to really calm down and say oh no no nothing's okay nothing's everything's all right and I just tell him well hey we really need your cars moved I mean we need access to the front yard and that's when he kind of pulls it together and moves all of his vehicles for me but after that I just had a terrible day basically and I was frightened that I wasn't going to get paid because this guy just seemed very unstable so after that point I told my brother hey we need to oil these forms make sure we can strip everything today because we got to get the hell off this job site I am not going to come back another day and risk this guy complaining or saying anything else wrong about this concrete slab. So if you guys didn't see in the beginning, we were oiling up all the forms because we're going to strip everything today, get everything off of this site and get out of here. Not only that, the homeowner was basically telling me if we didn't get 4,500 PSI, he was going to basically cancel us for the day and then just tell us not to show up or tell the truck to leave if it wasn't 4,500 PSI. So as soon as that truck arrived on site, he went straight to the concrete truck and double checked that that cement was 4,500 PSI. I'm not really sure why he would have doubted me getting the 4,500 PSI, but maybe he was hoping that I wasn't going to be able to get the 4,500 PSI in time since it was a last minute change. So maybe that was going to be another excuse or reason for him to use against me not to pay me. But of course I got the 4500 PSI. So we got a high point right here off the corner of our forms. High point in the middle of those two drains. High point right in the middle of those two drains. Another high point off the corner of the concrete right there. So. A lot of rod work here, making sure that everything is perfect. So I don't know if you guys have ever dealt with such a crazy customer like this, but let me know in the comments if your customer was crazier than this one or if this one tops the charts. It's crazy too because this guy's a contractor. You'd think he would have some sympathy or understanding of what it takes to get this kind of stuff done. But then again, this guy did tell me he's an armchair contractor, meaning he just writes up bids and goes on bids. He actually doesn't do the work himself. And I'm not sure if he even knows how to do the work himself. I mean, that's why you l literally see him in almost every segment of the time lapse. Puffing on his vape, just watching his work. Because that's the only thing he's. I think he's good at. Uh, that was another thing he actually was talking to me about at the end of the job too. Of why. I didn't deserve the full payment. He had to basically stand by me and hold my hand at every step away of this job, he said, because I wasn't overseeing the job of how it should have been overseen. So I guess he took me through a, a very expensive masterclass program of how to oversee and supervise a job for basically all my profits on this job. But either way, if he thinks we deliver the quality or not, we still brought the quality. I put in all my effort to make sure that this job came out picture perfect for him. And I still got treated like this was the first concrete patio I ever poured. And here we are snapping all the joints in. The slope came out perfect with the, for the drains on this job. The crack control was divided really nice and evenly off of all the major crack points. The broom finish was a very beautiful light finish. But, I mean, 
to him, it just wasn't good enough, I guess. He, Because, I mean, he was even complaining about the finish of the concrete. And you guys can see that towards the end on how the broom finish came out. You guys let me know what your thoughts are on the broom finish. He also didn't really like the concrete curb, but, I mean, there wasn't much I could do with the block wall footing being so high above our concrete patio height unless he wants footing to be shown I mean he did agree but then in the end he didn't like how it came out so lots of headaches on this one lots of headaches and it seemed like no matter what I tried to do for this guy I was not going to be able to please him and like I was saying guys this is 4500 psi so this concrete went off on us we were only here for about two hours it took us two hours to finish this concrete slab and it was even a little bit more difficult because of the concrete curb that we put in we had to face and finish that and strip it and this stuff was getting hard quick And then right there, guys, what I'm doing is I'm double-checking these drains, making sure that they're perfectly in line with one another. I even brought the homeowner out to double-check himself because I was not trying to risk being stiffed on this job. I was trying to prevent that in every possible way. But, like I said, this guy found any and every reason to. I mean, there he is. Number one supervisor. I'll have to make sure to take those pointers in for the next job. <laughs> Maybe buy a vape. So as you can see, I'm passing the drill over to my brother that's next to the pool equipment right now. Making sure that he's getting all the screws out before the concrete gets too hard in those areas so we can get all of our forms out. Because like I said, I am getting off this job site. This is going to be my last day and final day. I'm out of here. And then you can also see right there, guys, we're double checking these joints with the string lines, making sure they're nice and straight, and then carrying the joint through the curb face and then on top as well so that that joint continues through. So these are the drains. They're actually pretty nice drains. You just finish the concrete on top and put them on the inside the drains and then broom finish it. All right, and now here is the broom finish. I would say this is a pretty beautiful broom finish, nice and light. Homeowner thought I was questionable. You guys let me know your thoughts. We got the 100% nylon broom out here. Brooming up everything. And then here we are taking out these forms. Because like I said, I was like terrified for my life. Yeah. Pass me has that sludge over there too. There's a sludge right below your feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pass me that. I'm gonna start passing all this stuff, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Hey Shane! Okay, careful Shane. It's all, it's all one piece. Got it? Careful, don't let that fall on the concrete. Whatever you do. So this was the last pass on this patio. And 
it was going off so fast on us we had it we had to start putting a little bit of water on top of the surface to be able to get a nice clean broom finish on it and like I was saying this only took us two hours so from it was a 7 a.m. pour well actually it was about 7 30 because the homeowner held us up in the morning not only that he didn't want us to pour out until he saw the ticket on the Conquer truck making sure that it was a 4500 PSI but of course it was but here we are with uh, the finished product after we stripped everything broomed everything and now we're getting out of here I didn't get out of there with uh, 100% of the jobs payment but why don't you guys leave some comments down below Take a guess. What do you think this guy paid me in the total of this job? 20%, 10%, 30%, 40%. Take a guess, and I'll heart the ones that are correct. Let me know, guys, how you thought this uh, patty came out, and leave, me, uh, leave some comments below. Also, make sure to uh, give us a like, share, subscribe. And stay tuned for more Odell Complete Conquer videos. Alright guys, I really appreciate it. Have a good one.